To differentiate between borderline personality disorder and insecurity, we should first understand what borderline personality disorder is. The American Psychological Association defines borderline personality disorder, or BPD, as a condition with a long-lasting pattern of instability in mood, interpersonal relationships, and self-image so severe that it causes extreme distress or interference with life and work. As stated in the DSM-5, this condition has different manifestations. Some common ones include engaging in self-damaging behavior, uncontrollable temper outbursts, and uncertainty in self-image. It can also manifest itself as chronic feelings of emptiness, boredom, or depression. An article published in Innovations in Clinical Neuroscience in 2011 mentioned the discrepancies in borderline personality disorder diagnosis. Because of gender norms, borderline personality disorders are often overlooked in males and seen as a condition that mainly affects women. However, it is estimated that 1.6% of adults in the US will or have experienced BPD. So how is this familiar to feelings of insecurity? Insecurity and BPD can overlap. Insecurity usually involves deep feelings of inadequacy and lack of self-confidence that is accompanied by general uncertainty and anxiety. These symptoms are sometimes found in people who experience BPD, hence the confusion between the two. However, there is a type of borderline personality disorder that does not show typical manifestations and can easily be confused with insecurity. Contributing Forbes author Lise Dzinski Goodman explained quiet borderline personality disorder. Although it is not officially recognized as a separate condition, it is considered a subtype of BPD, first identified by Dr. Theodore Millian. Quiet BPD, sometimes referred to as discouraged BPD, exhibits symptoms that are very similar to insecurity. For example, fear of abandonment, unstable relationships, instability and insecure self-image, intense mood swings, stress-related paranoia. Additionally, both conditions present similar attributes like intense clinginess, dependent or avoidant tendencies, and feelings of powerlessness. Because of the similarities between insecurity and discouraged BPD, a misdiagnosis can occur. With all these similarities, how can you tell if it's BPD and not insecurity? The difference between the both conditions lies in the cause of the condition, though they have similar symptoms. A key characteristic of insecurity is a general lack of self-confidence. With BPD, insecurity and lack of self-confidence tend to accompany other symptoms and are not the only ones. Typically, insecurity is unpredictable and stems from an insecure parental attachment that bleeds into intra and interpersonal relationships. It isn't a persistent feeling, but rather a feeling that is triggered by an event or circumstance. For example, a traumatic loss or crisis. On the other hand, with BPD, there is a certain element of predictability. In fact, it is part of the criteria in its diagnosis. Borderline personality disorder is characterized by a prolonged pattern of instability, whereas insecurity is dependent on the duration of the external factors. Additionally, discouraged BPD can stem from a traumatic childhood experience, brain development issues, or abnormal serotonin levels. Another key difference between insecurity and BPD is triggering factors. Insecurity is a general feeling that sometimes persists because of a crisis or trauma. It is more of a state and isn't triggered by an external factor, though it may be caused by one. Borderline personality disorder has triggers. These usually fall under three categories, loss or rejection, intrusive thoughts, and relationship issues. Despite their similarities, these conditions are treated differently. While both conditions benefit from therapy, BPD is often treated with dialectical behavioral therapy or DBT, which focuses on treating emotional dysregulation, stress regulation, and interpersonal relationships. Treatment for BPD can sometimes include mentalization-based therapy or MBT, which helps participants better understand and empathize with the emotions of people around them. Insecurity usually benefits from cognitive behavioral therapy, which aims to help someone address negative self-talk and their feelings of inadequacy. Journaling and talking through their insecurities can also be beneficial for people with insecurity. We hope this video has helped you understand the differences between these two conditions. Please let us know in the comments if you found this helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. And remember, you matter. We're releasing our first book filled with fun psychology that we couldn't fit into just a video. Available wherever you buy books and on Amazon. Check the description to find out how to pre-order.